Uh, full shelters and veterinary deserts. These are real problems we have in our region and in Nashville. That is why today we are at Nashville Animal Shelters raising at least $60,000. We hope we go. More than 4,000 animals are saved through Max Adoption Return to Home and Rescue Placement Program. Nikki is over there right now to explain the effort today. Who do you have with you this time? Oh my gosh. Are you ready for this? I have got a wild puppy man. This is Lorcan, and he is so sweet. He's five months old, and he is just pure shepherd puppy energy. He's got these beautiful golden eyes. There you go. There you go. Can you see? Here, maybe you guys make a funny noise. See if he listens. He is, he's got this. There you go. There you go. There you go. Look at his beautiful face. He's only five months old, so beware puppy energy. He is going to need somebody who's going to wear him out, but he is very, very sweet and treat motivated. As you can see, looking for his forever home here at Metro Animal Care Control. That's just one of the many programs that we are highlighting today here at Metro Animal Care and Control and also at the Pet Community Center. These two organizations we've been telling you about all morning, they work together and they have separate but similar missions but they both had the same goal, and that is to save the lives of animals in Davidson County. And I got to highlight the story of one dog. His name is Boss, and he was adopted for Metro Animal Care and Control and then treated at Pet Community Center. Here's his story. So this is Boss, and he's, oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay so tell me who this And is. he's seven years old. Um, we adopted him in 2022. He was heartworm positive. He was very abused. He's a two-time visitor to the animal shelter, so, you know, he's had a hard life. He really has. That's something Angela can relate to. I'm a domestic violence survivor, and I'm scared of everything. When Angela adopted Boss from Metro Animal Care and Control, it wasn't just her saving him. They saved each other. So, you know, being scared myself all the time. He... He's my, he's my everything. Boss was in distress at Mac. He was heartworm positive and needed a home. His so. eyes, his eyes just will scream to you. Angela needed him too. She knew he was meant for her, but vet care is expensive. And that's where the Pet Community Center comes in. Everything is expensive these days. And, and treatment for animals are so expensive too. It's crazy what, you know, but you have to take care of them like you would your children. PCC is Nashville's only nonprofit veterinary center, and they believe everyone should be able to know the love and joy of having a pet, no matter your financial circumstances or hardships. So I reached out to them, and they give me discounted medicines. They give me discounted vaccines. They, you know, it's, it's a vet for poor people that they don't judge you. They don't treat you like anything but good humans that want to love their pets. But Boss needed heartworm treatment too. And thanks to Mac and PCC's heartworm positive program, it was free. Our partnership with Mac is very invaluable to the community. Any pet that is adopted there that has heartworms can receive free treatment here. And in the past, that was a very big barrier for those animals even being candidates for adoptions. Boss was the perfect candidate for the program. So whenever we pulled up to do it, they came out and they said, Mac's going to cover the cost. I just cried because that is a blessing in and of itself. You know, it gives me more money to be able to spoil him. <laughs> and that's exactly what she does. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's my big goober. Okay, so you see Boss's story is a special one because he was rescued here at Metro Animal Care and Control. And as you heard, he also rescued Angela and, and they're just best friends. They take care of each other. But Angela's story is a lot like many other people, especially in Davidson County. A lot of people fall on hard times and they have to make a difficult decision. Well, the Pet Community Center doesn't want you to have to make that decision. They want to provide these programs so that you have everything that you need so you can keep your pet who is your family member in your home where they belong and out of a shelter that is already overcrowded. So your money today that you donate to the Pet Project will go directly to helping these programs. Go to NashvillePetProject.org and all of your money will go to a good cause. And if you're in the market for a sweet puppy, might I suggest Lorcan? Are you kidding me? Look at his golden eyes. He is so sweet. He, and he is ready to go home with you right now. Neil Blake. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I was going to say, Nikki, who needs a cup of coffee when you're hanging out with that good boy right there? Because that guy will get you ready to go. Mm -hmm. No batteries 100%. required. 100%. Yes. <laughs>